Hi guys, one of the main themes of the current Labour Party as they plan for the next general election is to paint themselves as the opposite of the Tories when it comes to economic policy. I believe Liz Truss and her mini-budget were a major wake-up call for Rachel Reeves, the Shadow Chancellor, and her leader Keir Starmer. They know that the reputation they had as a tax and spend party, a Chancellor drunk on public spending and no control over the finances of the state, would sink them. But this reputation isn't based on reality, but one concocted by the media and Labour's enemies. But in order to undo it, the party will have to go that extra mile to convince the public that it will be conservative with a small c when it comes to the second most important job in government. That rehabilitation of Labour's reputation got a major shot in the arm from the former governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, when he said this. Rachel Reeves is a serious economist. She began her career at the Bank of England so she understands the big picture, but crucially, she also understands the economics of work, of place, and of family. It's beyond time to put her ideas and energy into action. Okay, I don't understand this last part. <laughs> let's get Britain's future back. Okay, so, well, let's go, let's go back to Mark Carney. He was the guy who helped undo some of the worst of Brexit. He knew that Brexit would be, would be bad for the UK economy. And before he left as governor of the Bank of England, he tried his best to mitigate against some of the worst of Brexit. So this is somebody who understands, um, the economy understands what he's talking about, former governor of the Bank of England. And if he's giving his seal of approval to Rachel Reeves, that's great for Rachel Reeves and it's great for the Labour Party. But is it good for Britain? Because what you need going forward is something radical. And I fear that what the Labour Party are doing at the moment is they're taking it easy. They're doing baby steps. They don't want to upset the apple cart. They don't want to rock the boat too much. They want to say something, but they don't want to go too far. And the disaster of the last 13 years, I believe it will be a poison chalice for the Labour Party. So they're not setting the expectations of the public very high, saying, look, we're not going to do anything radical. We're just going to steady the ship. We're going to gradually turn it around. We're not going to go too fast. We're not going to rock the boat in a sense. And this is not what the, the country needs. It needs radical reform because schools are crumbling now. The NHS is falling apart now. The economy is in a tatters now. There's a cost of living crisis now. This isn't something for the future. This isn't something that you can plan against. You have to take radical action now. Now, it's easy for me to say that. I'm not in number 11. Um, it's going to be a very difficult job for Rachel Reeves. I, we have to admit that. It's going to be difficult to allocate funds. There's going to be a lot of ministers stepping forward saying, I want money to do this. I want money to do that. And the chancellor will have to make some difficult choices. Now, of course, your choices are made easier if you decide, well, what we're going to do is we're going to tax people who already have money. We're going to tax the rich. We're going to, attack, we're going to tax wealth. That's what they need to be doing. That makes it easier for the Chancellor to help out different ministers who are coming with a begging bowl. That's what has to happen. If those different departments see the money coming in, if, if, if they're able to show that things are improving, then they can convince the public in a much easier way. And then that will help the Labour Party win power at the election after this one. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.